this presentation will talk about some new features for version 10. Uh, for the new version, we now support text mapping for filter curve. We add a bunch of new primitives, including inset 3D, and uh, a bunch of other region uh, primitives. And uh, we have new options to support 3D clipping. OK. So how does that work? Like other primitives, you need to set specify texture and also given the texture coordinates. Uh, vertex texture coordinates uh, is also an option for field curve. So here's an example. Uh, the options, the texture coordinates is specify corresponding to control points. And uh, it will be interpolated to, to those curve points. Here is a multi-segment example. So you can specify here all together. Uh, this is a multiple object form. You can also specify uh, within the segment. This is a much easier, much, this is a way much, much easier to read. And uh, for field curve, we also have an encoded way, which is used by some functions like uh, import string, export string, uh, for the reason of efficiency. Um, so, like here, you need to specify the segment types. But here, what you need to do, a bunch of integers. Uh, you can encode it as those types with 0, 1, 2. 0 is line, 1 is Bezier curve, 2 is uh, Bezier curve. The second argument uh, here is uh, the number of control points around, around the path and the spline degree. The third one is spline degree. So here is the path, and uh, then come with the options. So here is the example. How do we apply texture or pattern to, to fonts? So the idea is to convert fonts to field curves. And uh, Mathematica has functions to do that. Um, so just just specify the texture co coordinates, and then you can get a different result. Um, so, uh, same idea. For those primitives currently don't support the texture mapping, like a disk, you can do the same thing and convert it and then ap apply the pattern. Here is a, actually it, the disk is turning into field curves. Um, so, Here's a bunch of other examples. Uh, it m here is the result of uh, plot functions and the new primitives, country data, freehand painting, and uh, some uh, image processing results. So you can apply texture to all of them, which means anything. So same thing, you can do that to outline as, uh, as well. Now we assign a pattern, different pattern. And these are actually uh, just a bunch of lines. So you need to do is just X convert it to field joint curve and then and change, replace it with field curve and then specify the texture coordinates. Okay, 
So, so this gives a, a way, a field curve gives a way to let you apply pattern to, to a lot of different things. So here, we support inset is a very useful primitive that allows, allows you to put a, a graphics into a different one. This brings a lot of flexibility. And um, however, for version 9 and before, it only support by graphics. But for the new version, we now, it, it now works with graphics 3D as well. Um, then you can set a 2D graphics or expression into 3D, and uh, it works way in a billboarding way. Here's the example. Um, you can put a 2D disk inside 3D space. It has a per depth perception, and uh, the position is uh, the one you specified. And it also works with type setting as well. I want to mention that this is not a texture or image, it's the original fonts. And same thing here, the disk is, uh, is, is ve the vector. You can also insert, uh, insert a controls as well, like a button. And uh, if it is occluded, it is not active. So with this new feature, you can do a lot of interesting things uh, to, to 3D graphics, like you can bring 2D animations in 3D. And you can also do like a particle system and then navigation inside as well. Okay, and we, for the new version, we introduced a bunch of new symbols for, uh, for, for regions. And uh, you can do computing on them. And uh, they also work with graphics and graphics 3D as well. Here are some of the examples. And um, like a infinity line and a half line something. Uh, Here, so before version nine and uh, version nine and before, we can only specify coordinates, but with these new primitives, you can specify vectors as well, in either one direction or both directions. You can also specify angles as well, edges. So, here's the example. This is the half line, inf infinity line, half plane. And uh, they are computed uh, dynamically based on the plot range. And um, conical region is a, is a super primitive. Actually, uh, all the half line, infinity line are the special case for this primitive. Here's the correspondence. And uh, also, in 3D, conical region can use to represent like uh, volumes as well. Here's a bunch of different cases in 3D. It can be used to represent a point and uh, volumes as well. And, uh, and there are more primitives. Uh, due to the time limit, I, I'm not going to go to details one by one, but I'll take one example here. Like a triangle, you, you can specify just coordinates. You can also specify with edges and the angles, and uh, they, they should just work with, with the existing 
uh, directives and uh, styling. And uh, clippings, we now have 3D clipping for, for the new version. And uh, through these two options for graphic 3D clip planes and clip plane star, style. And uh, the clip plane is, is a list of uh, points, and it is defined in this way. And uh, you can also choose to visualize the, the clipping plane itself through uh, this option. And by default, it is false. It is it's none. Sorry. And uh, here's the manipulate um, shows that you can change, uh, control the plane very conveniently. And uh, it, it does very fast because it, it is hardware accelerated. You can choose not to show the plane. And the, see the, 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 the clipping plane is computed dynamically. Is that a region object you're showing now? Uh, it is a region concept, but it is not a region object. Uh, internally, it does same thing like a canonical how regions. OK, so here's an example of three, a restless 3D. Um, uh, the clipping tools can be very useful for, for, for restless 3D because this allows you to, to see clearly what's inside. And it goes very fast. So we, based on this, you can build up your own customized and uh, uh, your own way of clipping tools. Um, so, and uh, other than that, we also have a bunch of new, uh, we have a bunch of improvements and a, a lot of bug fixings, like uh, now plot rent pending goes to all, case is supported for, for 3D graphics, and uh, several new method options. And uh, like John mentioned, uh, uh, for, the, for the new version, we now rasterize the graphics 3D uh, when exported as PDF. This fixed a lot of bugs, like uh, rendering ar artifacts and, uh, and the file size. And, uh, there are some other uh, other bug fixes as well, so um, that will be my talk 